journalism is an essential service needed to keep the public enlightened about a wide array of issues. Due to the nature of this profession, many focus on their work, finding little or no time to gather and interact with colleagues in the profession. This was the basis of the Women in Journalism Conference, which held in Lagos, Nigeria recently. I'm glad that this has been to, being put together, Women in Journalism Conference. You find those with experience in journalism, the older women in journalism, mentoring the younger ones in journalism, students and all that. The whole idea is to have a, a house, a home, a place where all journalists can come and meet, female journalists, because we believe that it's on them that the bastion of hope for the journalism profession rests. Like with this whole world, actually, if you ask me, because women are the ones that are the molders and shapers of homes, people, and families. And when we, you can find that if you look in the world of journalism, some of the best journalists in the world are female. Discussions at the gathering centered on upholding the ethics of the profession and forging ahead in the profession without fear of limitations. The theme about ethics and excellence is very, very appropriate because what are we talking about? Ethics and excellence in journalism today. And when you have women come together, women can be agents of change. Women can change things the way they are. So if women in journalism take a decision that collectively they want to bring the integrity of this profession back, that they want to bring the ethics of this profession back, that they want to get the integrity back, that they want to earn respect which any journalist deserves only the women can do it it's important for us to actually um, think deeply about uh, our principles um, what we would do what we won't do and it's important for us to think about uh, the consistency that is required um, before we can actually arrive at the excellence that uh, that we desire we shouldn't limit ourselves as women we we are um, as good as and sometimes better than because we are so underestimated uh, uh, you know in, in our capabilities so please go out there investigate find out what is not working in your patch in your beat and, and try to make a change women you know have to go out there put yourselves out there put themselves out there rather and um, be grounded in every aspect of the media don't limit yourself to oh I'm just a reporter oh I'm just you know, in a newsroom or, you know, you have to be well balanced, editing, filming, scripting stories. And that, that's just my advice to general, female journalists. If you don't dare to put yourself out there, if you think that journalism is something that happens from behind a desk and in 100% safety, it's not the job for you. When I started, I was told it wasn't a job for a woman. But the more they said that, the more I became determined to tell them that there is no territory, there is no terrain that is exclusively for the man. While the number of female journalists in Nigeria has grown over time, veterans in the field share knowledge of the times when the profession was deemed unfit for a woman. My journey with journalism began with, um, with the news. At that time, it was, uh, it was the network news. So um, it wasn't a question of whether um, a woman did this or a man did that. Um, at the time that we started, and it's going back now decades, um, at that time actually women were not um, on, well they, they, they were newscasters, but they were not um, on national news. So it was a small core of, of us that um, began uh, casting news at the, at the national level. So it really was not, it wasn't my plan, um, I didn't sit down and say, oh, this is what I want to do. That's just the way it happened. Well, I came into the profession about 20 years ago. That's like two decades. It's certainly not the same because when I started, um, there was nothing like user-generated content. There's nothing like citizen journalism. Um, where I started broadcast journalism from, um, there wasn't even a recording studio, we did everything live. And that transited from being a, an anchor, just a presenter on radio, to being a proper anchor. For every woman here, journalism is much more than a job. For a woman, it's maybe even more interesting for us because we are the curious one, the curious gender. We are very investigative, we are very inquisitive. And so I guess that's why 
more reason why um, broadcasting journalism is very appealing to, wo to women, the fact that we want to know what's going on around us and we want to share that information. Journalism has always been like, uh, it's been my passion, you know, being in the media and reporting particularly. Um, so for me, it's my life, basically. I cannot see myself not like doing any other thing. Yeah, and um, yeah, and I think when you go after your passion, like you can't go wrong. So I love what I do. Journalism to me is more than just um, a profession. It's not just my passion. It's both a profession and also for me like a calling. In in sense, in the sense that um, over the years I've seen what um, the works of journalists have been able to do in effecting change in the life of people and also policies too that affect the common man. And for me, that's what it, 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 that's the most important thing. I think journalism stands for, it's not just in Nigeria, but globally. Journalism is, uh, it's my life. It's, I breathe it, I live it. Because I mean, you wake up in the morning, the first thing you're, ch you're checking after your prayers, of course, the first thing you're checking is your phone. What's, what's the latest news in the world? And uh, how relevant it is to your calling or your responsibilities in the office. And how you can re-tell that story to fit into the community that you serve. And then again, you want to look at different themes, different issues. So um, if you're not discussing with your colleagues at work, you're discussing with your husband at, at home, who's also a journalist and then uh, you're practically living in a circle of journalists so I breathe, think, dream and uh, do journalism. As with all occupations, female journalists have to deal with certain challenges in the course of their work. We know the challenges that journalists face which include no pay, poor conditions of service and again I say it works worse for women because their conditions are you know it's more peculiar because they put more of their time on the job and they're also looking after family so they are managing two things at the same time. Now when you have a situation where you're working and you're, you're not paid for one year who do you blame? And when you have a situation where you are not paid but the owners are living lavishly and living a lavish lifestyle and are not broke. How do you want you to feel? So when you put somebody in the situation where, you know, you just have to make money anyway, then we have a problem. Beyond the hurdles one must cross in the line of duty, combining a career and personal life is a familiar worry. I am married to a man who, um, who I met in broadcasting. So he understood that the kind of hours that we work are not regularly nine to five. It takes a lot of balancing and I think that um, women as they go into different phases in their lives they will learn how to balance these things and we women have this great support system around us people who have gone ahead of us in marriage in friendship in, in childbearing people who can help us balance our schedules it's really important. When you sort of know what what you're trying to get into entails you also need to sort of plan ahead you know, I know that, I mean, I work with news. I know that the news world, like, it's unpredictable. Anything can happen at any time. A news can break at any time. So you just have to be ready. You know, of course, you can't be totally prepared, but, but you plan ahead. You know that, okay, well, for every minute I have, you just make the most of it because you don't know the next minute. So if I have this minute where I'm not working, I focus on other areas of my life. You have to keep fighting that to, to be able to draw out your personal time from your work time because you could have fixed a date with someone and then they tell you uh, there's a breaking story and when there is a breaking story every other thing has to wait or there, when there's an event to cover so it's been challenging but you still have to find that time to be able to keep relationship to be able to keep family life to be able to have your own personal life sometimes you're at work you should be at the market sometimes you're at a conference you're thinking oh my children and so you need a strong support from your family. I don't know how I have coped. I remember there was a time, a public holiday, I stopped my family because I was applying for something and it was taking all of my time. So after that, I kept pleading, please, I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry. And, but I made it up to them the next weekend. So, I mean, you can't do it alone. You need a supportive husband, partner, children. That's what makes it easy. In their years of practice, each of these women have had unforgettable moments on the job. 
I remember one time I had to um, cover an election in my neighborhood about four years ago, five years ago actually, cover an election in my neighborhood and um, I took a picture of some boys playing football very close to um, a booth and I was almost lynched and I still had to call in live into the studio and give my report. Of course, my voice was shaking and all of that. One time I got to do an interview with um, someone I call a role model, actually Wally Show Inca. And uh, yes, yeah, so I was given that assignment and um, I think it's like one of the most um, like important personalities that I've actually, you know, had an interview with. And so for me, that was like a really, that was a very, what's the word, very, like outstanding moment like in my career. I have a whole lot of uh, moments. Uh, I have moments that uh, I, I carry with me all the years. For me, every story I do, especially those stories that have to do with um, um, women and children, uh, whether in the arts or general interest stories, those, they, they move me a lot. Whether planned or by chance, the presence of women in the field of journalism is contributing incredibly to the profession's aim of raising awareness, promoting conversation and galvanizing action concerning serious matters in our world.